what's going on youtube today we have part two of the ravenclaw hogwarts legacy playthrough for you i hope you enjoy common room's kind of dope dude that guy's got a sick hat oh dude ggs i found the best thing in the game right now bow watch this what is this someone threw a dumb ball That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you <laughs> survived a rather harrowing trip here. A lot of people know about like my trip. It's kind of wild. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Stop whispering about me, shitters. Uh, dude, what is this girl doing? Dude. Did I find a demon? All right, moving on. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. <clears throat> Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding Owls. level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. <clears throat> After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your Extraordinary. Success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. If books actually did that, this way. I might read. That's all I'm saying. Whee! Okay. Can you walk a little faster, Lee? Oh, that statue's falling. Why don't you cast Revelio on We got a... First of all, I like, I got some cool shit. So I'm going to rock the cool shit that I got, right? This wizard's got some drip too. Look at this shit, man. I don't like that they make you a super senior though. That's like, that's kind of screwed up, dude. No that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you have here. We vibing. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. I don't want to go to class, man. Perhaps oh damn! You blast each other to pieces on your own time. He almost just I got crushed, man. Every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Levioso. Ah, Garrick nerd. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. 
Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. I did it. I did it. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise is good. Now, the basic. Well done. I destroyed that thing. Very good. That thing got wrecked, dude. The best way to practice is by dueling. You're good. Let me know how perceptive. I your form. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Tego. This is your first duel. Let's just say get wrecked, like Sebastian you. Swallow. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> uh, spin that. Oh, spin it. Go again. And another. All right. We're good now. Oh, we got to spin this one too. Woo. All right. Oh, see, so you can pet cats too. Even though cats are demons, we're going to pet this one. We're going to pet this one. It likes me. Welcome to year five of Charmed. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> this guy reminds me of one of my professors. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> Okay. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last. That's it. Now uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Splendid. Good. All right, we gotta hold it a little bit longer there, and then we and then we got it. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Well, there's <coughs> certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Facts. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Miss Onai is about to get absolutely rocked in rolling balls here. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear. Yes. Clear. Here we go. Nah, there's no shot. 
She's rolling 50s right at the start, dude. Nah, dude, she's rolling 50. She's she's cheating. Excellent. Hundred percent. Dude. Bit more interesting, shall we? Bit more interesting? Nah, dude. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. Nah, dude. I'm not trying to do this with moving blocks now. I hope she gets absolutely smoked by this thing, dude. Come on, block. Come on, box. Smoke, smoke the ball. Smoke the ball. Yes. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Oh, it still counts. Still counts. Oh, it took my 50 off the board, man. <gasps> she just got wrecked, dude. I win now. I win. All I have to do is just give this a little. Woo! W. Get wrecked, nerd. Both of you, well done. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. <clears throat> yeah, well. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. Oh shit, lady. It gets easier. I promise. It's it easier. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my father. Wagadu. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Hmm. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. <coughs> I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice covered in mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. I like that. 
floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But yeah. it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's Fair nice enough. to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. I'm going to be in trouble. Time. Or he's giving me extra homework. I don't want extra homework. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What's not expecting at all. The expected. You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. There's so many cats around here, man. Oh, I found a chest. Oh, I found a top hat, dude. How am I supposed to know what these things are, man? Like, it doesn't tell me numbers. Oh my god, I need to figure this out. I'm gonna go nuts. It has to be some sort of math equation, right? So, like, my thought was this top, the top one, right? It's all, like, increments of two around five. So that would indicate to me that that would be seven is the next one, right? Which would be the lizard. So if I do the lizard, right, that would be seven. And then the unicorn is two. The bottom is four. And then the center is 12. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong on this idea. What is this thing? Oh shit, I did it. Did I get anything for doing that? No. It's lame. That's lame. I don't get anything for doing that. I just fixed their painting and nothing happens. It's kind of wild actually. Spin the globe because we because we like doing that. I trust your first classes went well? They did, professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? All right. Let's get after it, huh? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I don't want extra assignments, lady. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade, I mentioned earlier. I don't like it. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, <coughs> potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Good. I don't need to I talk need to you to anymore, to lady. Meet. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? 
A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and hmm. his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Theophilus assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the three broomsticks. I like the name Theophilus. Rebellion. It's a good one. We should go for that, Gary. If we have a if we have a son, we name him Theophilus.